Task number four, the extracorporeal suture. For this task, you'll be given two needle drivers, one pair of scissors, and one long suture. We recommend that you use a 48-inch suture to practice. The suture material should be 2.0 silk or something equivalent. You have to have one millimeter of accuracy in placing the needle through the black dots indicated on the Penrose drain, as will be shown in the video demonstration. The time starts as soon as instruments enter the field of view and ends when the stitch is cut. Average time to completion is 136 seconds. In order to improve your efficiency with this exercise, take advantage of the fact that you can set the needle and suture in the needle driver before introducing it into the box in the proper orientation. One, for the extracorporeal suturing task, the right hand will introduce the suture into the box and then the left hand will be used to reset the needle into the right hand to allow for driving of the needle through the Penrose drain. The right hand will then withdraw the suture back through the right-handed port. Therefore, orient the needle in the right hand in the proper orientation before delivering it into the box to start the exercise. This pre-orientation of the needle does not affect your time frame uh, and the time does not start until the suture enters the field of view. Also, do not set down your knot pusher between uh, throws of the suture. The knot can be formed by simply palming the knot pusher and forming each successive knot, and so it'll be a lack of efficiency if the knot pusher is set down between each throw. Task number four, the extracorporeal knot. For this exercise, you'll be given two needle drivers, a pair of scissors, a knot pusher, and one long suture. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are using size 1 silk with a V20 needle. But for your uh, testing purposes, you will probably be given a 2.0 silk suture. Uh, and we recommend that you practice with something equivalent to that. In order to set up the needle for an extracorporeal suture, the suture must be introduced into the box with the dominant hand, in this case the right, which is the side that will be doing the tying once the suture is removed again from the box. The suture must be introduced with the same hand at which it is withdrawn for the knot to be thrown. We recommend that outside the box, you set the suture and needle into the needle driver's jaws on the right side so that the needle is pointed in the appropriate direction once the needle is introduced into the box. You can take advantage of this setup of the needle before your time starts because time on this exercise starts once the suture is introduced into the box. And so if the suture and needle are introduced in this fashion, transferring it to the left and back to the right to throw the needle is much more efficient if the needle is pointed in the appropriate direction already. We recommend that you grab the Penrose drain at this lower portion here and then move it from one side to the other and pull traction to assist with visualizing and subsequently throwing the needle through the black dots. One millimeter of accuracy is allowed. The needle must then be grasped and pulled through the Penrose and at this point the Penrose must be supported while the needle is withdrawn from the box. We recommend that you use your non-dominant hand as a fulcrum for the suture to move over as the needle is withdrawn. Both closed and open-ended knot pushers are available. We recommend that if you use a closed-ended knot pusher, you do not remove the knot pusher from the suture with each new throw, and that if you use an open-ended knot pusher, you do not set the knot pusher down between the throws. We recommend that you palm the open-ended knot pusher and perform a two-handed throw for each subsequent throw of the suture.
the average time for this exercise is 136 seconds. Once three knots have been placed, hold tension on the sutures, but gently, because if the pen rose is removed from the Velcro, the exercise is considered failed. You can put the, si the scissors on either port, and time stops once the suture is cut. This is how we recommend that you repetitively uh, perform the tying of the extracorporeal knot. The suture with the needle should be placed into your non-dominant hand and hold the suture in the palm with the suture in a position to do a two-handed throw. At this point, the suture with the needle still attached should be placed over the index finger and the free end should be grasped between the thumb and ring finger of the non-tying hand. At this point, the knot pusher can be rested on the thumb of the non-tying hand, placed onto the suture, and then both strands can be pulled up to allow for deploying the knot down onto the target. Once the knot pusher is removed, simply palm the knot pusher and perform another two-handed throw. Place the suture with the needle attached over the index finger and the free end between the thumb and ring finger, spreading the sutures apart. Rest the knot pusher on the thumbnail, onto the suture material, and down onto the target. Once again, palm the needle driver, the knot pusher, so you don't have to search for it when you're ready to use it again. Perform a two-handed throw. Place the suture with the needle over the index finger. Put the free end between the thumb and ring finger, spread the sutures apart, place the knot pusher on the thumbnail to stabilize it onto the suture and then down onto the target. In order to practice this exercise, it may be helpful to throw the needle onto the Penrose drain and then to continue repeating the knot tying process for more than three knots, but for several to become acquainted with the process of using the knot pusher. If you are using a closed end knot pusher as, to oppose, as opposed to an open one that we're using here, the closed end knot pusher does not need to be removed from the suture with each subsequent throw. You simply need to use a one-handed tie technique instead of a two-handed tie to perform each subsequent throw. And you can see here how a single throw onto the Penrose drain can be used multiple times to practice the rhythm of the extracorporeal knot tying. At this point, once you've thrown three throws for the exercise, you would then stop and put the scissors in and cut the suture to complete the exercise.